Hey everyone, I'm going to be talking about all the details and updates that are happening for this upcoming competition. Gala Games has posted all the information on their Discord server on the Townstar Announcements channel, so I'm going to be taking a look at that and going over all the information with you. So the next competition will begin on July 18th, 2023 and end three days later on the 21st. The meta will be a multi-meta, so you actually have two choices. You can either craft and sell chandelier earrings or bracelets. They will both be boosted in stars. They will be different values and I'll be going over that in just a moment. The biome is going to be a plains biome north layout. Now it will have an oil seep as recording this and the update going live there is an oil seep. There may have been a miscommunication during the Townstar AMA but the new biome will have an oil seep despite what it says on this announcement as of recording this. The north and east edges will have a desert so you can use that if you're making silica you can have your sand mines next to it for a faster craft time on silica. The south edge will have a forest which has no utility and the west edge will have a river so you can get up to five passive water that way. The trade time will be 40 seconds which is somewhat quick and it's only one gasoline per sale regardless of whatever you're using to sell with. The town will still start out with two copper panning sites, a banner house, and an ore storage. At the moment we don't know what the NFT reward is going to be for this upcoming competition and we likely will not know until the middle or the end of the competition, unfortunately. Now I'm gonna get into the values of the meta. So chandelier earrings have been star boosted. They will give 100,000 stars for each one. Bracelets have also been star boosted. They will give 96,000 stars for each one. Right off the bat, you may be thinking, well, chandelier earrings give more stars, so they would be the better item to go with. However, that's not necessarily true, and I'm gonna dive deeper into why I think bracelets are better later in the video. As for cash boosts, there are two cash boosts, and they are very, very good. So milk is going to be cash boosted. It's gonna give 10,000 cash for each one. Wool is going to be cash boosted, giving 7,500 cash for each one. I believe this is more than double the cash boost for these items. Wool is a very popular choice, so I imagine a lot of people are going to be doing that, and that is what I recommend if you are no NFT. Milk is still a very good option. Like, you can still do that. Now, if you have the fancy cow barn NFTs, you're obviously gonna be doing milk uh, because you get a better advantage that way. It's more cash overall, so I understand that. Both options are good, don't get me wrong, but wool is much easier to set up. The sheep pens are cheaper. The sheep move faster. That's why I like doing wool personally, but both options are good. You can find all the craft information for chandelier earrings or bracelets in the Gala Games Discord or on the Townstar Playbook. You can find the link to either one in the description description of this video. Two important updates. First, the foundry is getting a buff. It wasn't that useful in the previous competition, but in this competition, you may want to consider using it. Instead of it crafting copper and silver jump rings every minute, they will now craft it every 30 seconds, so it is 50% faster. Big improvement. It still has the same requirements, so you will need silica in order to craft jump rings that way, but it's able to go from like copper to copper jump rings or silver to silver jump rings so it eliminates the wire mill you end up saving space and all the other perks that the foundry does give you it helps out overall if you don't know what the foundry does i mean that information is also on the town star playbook as well it was introduced last week so i'm not going to go over all the details anymore and there is one new building that's going to be the panner bunk house this is essentially a panner house that comes with two workers so it is twice as good. Now there is a disadvantage to actually using the Panner Bunkhouse. It casts two shade instead of one shade, which makes perfect sense. I mean, it's also going to affect how you're going to plan out your layouts, where you're going to have these, because you don't want to be casting shade on the panning sites that would slow them down. So you do want to be careful where you have your Panner Bunkhouses, but I do think you are going to want to have Panner Bunkhouse. Like you're essentially saving a spot from not needing to use two Panner Houses. This is an important building that is definitely going to be used to improve your build design overall. I am in game now and I want to show you some design changes that I'm happy to see. So the copper panning sites and silver panning sites are now visibly different. You can see very different use of colors in the mine carts over here and the actual ores. Like they are very different in my opinion. Even the way the ores are positioned on this tray over here. 
very different so you can actually tell the difference same goes for the panner houses and ore storages they actually have a different color and a different design so it's much easier to tell the difference between them i also wanted to show you the foundries which i mentioned i have miranda skins applied normally the craft time is 30 seconds so with a full set of 10 miranda skins it would be 27 seconds i also wanted to quickly mention there was going to be an update to the forge which reduced the dirty from three to two that has not made it into the game so right now in the current update that i'm showcasing the forge will still give off three dirty and i do not know if they will push out the update to reduce it to two dirty before the competition begins or if that's going to be after this upcoming competition at the moment it's just not confirmed you can find the panner bunkhouse in the store here are all the build requirements and I also wanted to point out that they have already coded in the gold ore, gold jump ring, the gold ingots, and the gold wire into the game. So they're probably preparing to, you know, add something that requires gold pretty soon. The copper ore storage NFTs are now placeable in the game. So I have earned the common one and the rare one. The common one holds 10 items and the rare one holds 40 items. They only hold copper ore and the penner houses should prioritize putting copper ore into these NFT storages before they put in any copper ore in the regular ore storages. These were rewarded to players who played every day during the month of June. There's going to be another reward for the month of July if you play at least 10 days you'll get the common silver ore storage if you play at least 25 days you'll get the rare silver ore storage you also have to complete a certain amount of trades so as long as you're competing in one of the competitions you'll be set there you'll do the amount of trades you need to do for the whole month and the blueprint for the crafting copper panning site is now in the game so normally crafting copper ore takes 10 seconds or it takes nine seconds if you have miranda skins like i have applied but with the skin it will reduce it even further i have the legendary version Version, so it reduces it by 19%. It stacks with your NFTs like Miranda skins or the open luxury corrupted backs. So my copper Warcraft time has gone down an additional two seconds, making it so I can get way more copper ore than I used to be able to before. So it's going to be able to help out a lot. This was an NFT reward for the chandelier earrings competition in case you were wondering where this NFT came from. And just to show you what the new biome layout is going to look like, here is the screen showing you all the information and here is the startup layout. Now you normally start off with 25,000 cash. The only reason I start off with more is because I have the enchanted fireworks NFTs applied, which increase the starting cash. But yes, it is 25,000 cash. You do have an oil seat and you have your regular buildings and it only costs one gasoline to sell items. Finally, last thing I wanted to show you is something I made in the Town Star playbook to show you the comparison between bracelets and chandelier earrings, which one is better and why. So I have two examples here. We're going to look at this first example. I am comparing bracelets to chandelier earrings because I think bracelets are better. Now, bracelets give 96,000 stars, chandelier earrings gives 100,000 stars. So here are all the materials required to make one bracelet. And I'm going to show you all the materials required to make one chandelier earrings. Now, in order to make these clean numbers i'm just going to put that i'm going to make 2.4 million stars per hour here i get that amount of stars from either selling 25 bracelets or from selling 24 chandelier earrings and you'll be able to see the comparison of all the items right here so this over here tells me the difference between the two i will end up making less chandelier earrings then I would be making bracelets for the same amount of stars. I will need more copper to make the chandelier earrings. I will need more silver and I will need more wood. I will actually make less silver jump rings making the chandelier earrings and I will make no lobster clasps if I make chandelier earrings. So this might not be that easy to understand but I also put a conclusion down here. Despite bracelets giving less stars per individual item, it will require less base resources that is copper or silver or and wood to craft them than the chandelier earrings do so it makes the bracelets easier to craft when you're looking at the resources alone now i have another comparison over here this time instead of comparing the amount of stars i'm comparing the amount of copper ore assume that i'm going to make 4500 copper ore with that amount of copper ore i could make 50 bracelets or i can make 45 chandelier earrings now when you compare the stars you actually gain more stars from the bracelets here 
that's assuming of course the copper is going to be the same for all of these items and even though we are using the same amount of copper here when comparing bracelets to chandelier earrings the chandelier earrings will still require more silver and more wood so that leads me to this conclusion right here with the same amount of copper ore, you can make about 6.67 percent more stars from bracelets than you can with the chandelier earrings and you still use less silver ore and wood doing bracelets than you would use doing the chandelier earrings so this right here i just did this for me if you want to change these numbers up you would have to make a copy of the town star playbook or just make a copy of this paper and just edit this gold text number right here on either one and then you'll be able to mess around with totally up to you i don't think it's necessary but you can if you want to but i just made these comparisons to show you that i think bracelets are better than chandelier earrings i'm personally going to be doing bracelets because i believe it's going to give me more stars per hour with the same amount of resources that's all the details and updates that i have if you're wondering how to make chandelier earrings or bracelets i do have videos with all that information so feel free to check those out if you haven't done so already hopefully it will also give you some ideas of what to do for the upcoming competition if you want me to work on some new build design, let me know what you want to see. If you found this video helpful or informative, leave a like, leave a comment uh, with any feedback or questions you may have. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. If you wish to support the channel, you can find the links in the description of the video. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.